The first time that you launch Particle Shop and your image editing application, you're going to be greeted with this welcome screen. And what this is, in addition to the starter pack of brushes that you receive with the product, we also have additional brush packs for sale. So you can browse through these, you can see artwork that was created with the brushes, and you can also see all of the individual brush strokes. Should you choose to not want this to greet you every time you start up, just uncheck this box right here. I'll go ahead and close this down. Now we're going to begin with the starter pack of brushes and Particle Shop comes with 11 brushes for you to get started with and they're across a broad range of brush categories. Now if we take a look up on the top here, I can see that my image is not filling my entire screen here. So I'm going to go ahead and use the magnification. I can drop down to zoom into my image here or zoom out. If I press the spacebar key, I can pan around my image. You can also use control plus or minus to do the same thing with your images. Let's take a look at the tools available to us in the UI. I've got my brush tool selected and that just means whatever brush variant that I have selected from the starter pack, if I begin to paint, I'll be painting with that brush. Now in order to get a color that I'd like to work with, I could work with the color wheel. The outside is the hue, the inside is the saturation or value of that. Or you could select and use the eyedropper. I'm going to go ahead and use the eyedropper for our purposes here. Now the other thing that I should show you with the color wheel, if you don't want it to close out as you begin to do your painting, you can pin this down. And this will just mean that the color wheel will remain in that location while you're working. And you can choose to dock this wherever you want to within the UI. Now to get my brush tool back, I can tap the B key, or you can manually select the brush from the toolbar. And we happen to have this beautiful fabric brush that we're gonna paint with here. So I can begin to throw some um, brush strokes down using this brush. If I want to come up to the property bar, we can begin to adjust the options for the brush. Every brush will have the ability for you to adjust the size of the brush and also the opacity of the brush. If you're using, instead of a mouse, something like a Wacom tablet, these options right here will allow you to change opacity and the brush size based on pressure. So you can go ahead and turn those on. Now I'm just gonna lower the opacity and we'll show you now we have a much more subtle stroke available to us. So size, opacity, available for every brush in the starter pack. Now if we take a look back at the toolbar, I'm gonna to go ahead and grab the eraser tool. And when I erase, the way that Particle Shop works is you either bring in a full image or you bring in an individual layer. It's going to erase down to transparency and not just the brush stroke that you have placed on the page. If I want to undo what I've just done, we have 32 levels of undo and redo. So you can easily um, make those adjustments using the property bar. And then the final tool that we have here is the blender brush. And if any of you have used Painter, you know, this is very similar to the blender tools that you have available in Painter. I can subtly begin to blend some of those brush strokes that I may have placed out on the page using the blender tool. All right, so you can see how all of the tools that are available to you work. Now, one other thing that I should point out is as you begin to make adjustments to size, opacity, and or any other brush properties, if you want to reset the brush back to its factory defaults, just click the reset tool. Then all the way over on the left, if I click reset here, this is going to revert my document to the last saved version that I was working with. So anything that I had, any brush strokes that I'd placed out here, will then be lost. I'm gonna say, let's go ahead and do that. And you can see it's cleared everything out for us. Now there's one final option that you can pull up and that is down here. I'll go ahead and pull up. If I needed to check the online help, this will give you some direction as to how the various brush properties work, what kind of files that Particle Shop is compatible with, system specs, things such as that. You can pull up the help and you can preview all of the information there. So let's take a look at some of the starter pack brushes because the fabric brush allows you to adjust the size and opacity, but things like the debris brush have additional options that you can make adjustments to. So with debris, you can set the opacity of the particle paths 
and you can also set the jitter of the opacity. So let's just sample from within the image here and grab our brush. Now I'm going to size this brush down just a little bit so you can see um, as you begin to size your brush up or down I can get a whole lot of dust and debris or I can get just a little bit. We have the opacity jitter set to 100% so that means there's going to be a lot of variation in the opacity jitter within the stroke. You can also set you know the global level of opacity for your stroke and let's just size that down once again to make that a little bit smaller. So that's the debris if we use something such as the flame brush one thing that i didn't point out is some of these brushes by default have a glow already turned on you can turn this glow on for individual brushes as you're working let's take a look i'll just do a nice orange color here at the flame brush if we use something like the fur brush this gives me an adjustment that i haven't seen yet and that's value variability so with the value set at 3%, what that means is the color that I originally select, and that is a whole lot of fur being thrown out there. So let's go ahead and size this down and we'll do a little furry burst coming off of the paintbrush. That's 100% orange right now or 3%, but it looks pretty much 100% color to me. Now, if I bring the value variability up to 50%, what we're going to see now is it's going to pull additional values from the value triangle here to integrate into that stroke automatically for you. So I encourage you to take a look at the different brushes. Some of them have value variability, hue variability. Some allow you to adjust the physical particles, the number or the count of particles that are coming off of your brushes and some allow you to adjust things like the grain. So let's take a look at this brush here, the light brush. And right now we've got a blue. I can go ahead and put a, a little light burst out on the tip of the paintbrush. And what I see here is it's actually showing me quite a bit of this grainy texture that I have selected. So at 100%, that's going to exhibit a lot of the texture within your stroke and you can really change the look and feel of the brush depending upon the kind of texture that you select. So that is a quick introduction to the Particle Shop user interface. Once you've created something that you enjoy and you like and you want to save, I'm going to click the save button and it will bring you back to your editing application with your changes saved. That's the introduction to the Particle Shop UI. If you want to learn a little bit more about the starter pack brushes and how to work with them, please take a look at our starter pack tutorials.